Hey everyone, this is Mike at Sweetbriar Farm. It's March 19th and it's about 26 degrees outside and I'm starting seeds today. I'm able to do that in my Harbor Freight greenhouse that I have heated with my outdoor wood burner. So I'm not gonna show me show, planting all the seeds and st stuff like that. I'll just show you my setup here as I go. I'll actually unplug it for right now. Yeah, the right one. So that blows in the warm air. So I've got a hot water line that gets pumped in from the wood burner and then the cold, cold water gets uh, returned. It goes through this radiator, which I have actually two fans in the back that will blow the warm air into the greenhouse here. I've had my soil actually warming up overnight in here. So I have this rinky dink setup where I pull this plastic down and that hot air blows right in here and I'm able to keep that quite warm. Um, I just moved this thermometer in here so it's warming up so it's saying it's 43 degrees in here right now but I'll I'll be able to get this into the 70s and keep it quite warm and actually this year what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna string some more plastic along the top just as another insulation barrier to keep the, the warm air down. So I'm able to start seeds in here with this system without using heat mats. I do have a couple heat mats that uh, I might use for my peppers because they like a nice warm soil. Overall, this works pretty good. I've, this is the third or the going. This is the third year that I've had it heated, but I think this is the fifth year I've had the greenhouse. So I can't really remember, but works out pretty good. So I use this wood burner to heat the house and the house hot water. And normally, I run it at. 195 degrees Fahrenheit and it's currently at 142 degrees and that's the water temperature that's being pumped through this goes into the house this one goes into the greenhouse these are the return lines so we didn't fill it up last night but I'm gonna turn this greenhouse pump up to high so that's gonna increase the speed at which the water is going to the greenhouse and provide that greenhouse with more water, hot water. And we'll get her cranking. So the fan's going and we are at 65 degrees Fahrenheit right now. And that's with 140 degree water going through here so it's it's going to take a little bit to warm up and I'm going to try harder not to let that fire go down as much. So I'm going to get started, put a couple seeds in each cell, plant some tomatoes, planting a uh, bunch of different tomatoes, some black creme, Martino Roma, which are like a small Roma tomato, gold medal, Italian heirlooms, bunch of different uh, cherry tomato seeds, early tomatoes, tropical sunset, those are really good. Funny thing is I don't even really like tomatoes, <laughs> just like growing them. Some red grapes, and I got beef steak and regular Roma too. Ground cherries, I don't know if you've, if you've ever had ground cherries, they're kind of more fruity, but they're in like a little shell, paper shell. They stay fresh for really long. They're really fruity. The kids love them. I got herbs, a bunch of peppers. I buy a lot of my seed from Seed Saver Exchange. I mean, it can be kind of dangerous going on there because everything looks really cool and you end up buying more than what you need. And then if you're like me, you forget to label things and you don't know what things are. So you're just picking peppers. I try to I do to keep the hot peppers separate. King of the North bell peppers. And I got some cucumber and broccoli seed in here too. Um, zucchinis, so some, some of those I'll start in these little bit larger pots and get those in the ground as soon as I can. Just get a head start. I've had the fan on here for just a few minutes. It's already 67 degrees in here. The sun's coming up 
it's real early in the morning. What time is it? It's about quarter to ten, and uh, I'm wearing my black jacket here, and I'm going to take it off because I'm already starting to sweat. This system that I have here for starting seeds works pretty good. I'm actually quite happy with it. So for the most part, I start my seeds depending on what they are. I'll start them in here, these little pots, or in these six cell containers. But I saw these 72 cell Pro Hex kits. So it says to eliminate circular roots. So I'm going to plant broccoli and cauliflower in these and we'll try them out. I'm just using miracle Grow garden soil as my starting soil. Found it works just fine. So it's about 2 o'clock. I gave up for the day. I got a bunch of trays of tomatoes planted. One of the things I do do is I stack those trays for a few days until they start to germinate. And then I can spread them out and move them to my other shelving areas. And it's 97 degrees in here. And I'm just going to leave this here. I just have the one fan going. I'm going to put this underneath my secondary greenhouse effect here. That's going to keep the hot air in overnight. Well, I figured I'd show you guys my greenhouse setup. Not much to it. Pretty simple little heater system. I had the wood burner, so adding a short piece of insulated pipe in between the two a few years ago was a good investment and uh, keeps my plants warm. I'm able to start things outside rather than inside how I used to do it. But that's my greenhouse setup. We'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm.